Hey there, bye technicians and welcome back to our YouTube channel and today we have for you an exclusive posting and this time it is a DVT Research Associateship in Biotechnology and Life Sciences for the year 2022-2023. So let's dive into the details quickly. So this is a call for applications for the award of DBT Research Associateship in Biotechnology and Life Sciences. So as the call reads, applications are invited from eligible candidates for the award of DBT Research Associate for pursuing research in frontier areas of biotechnology and life sciences. The associateship is tenable in premier research institutions, universities, including non-profit R&D institutions within India. The associateships are awarded under the DBT Research Associateship Program, supported by the Department of Biotechnology, Ministry of Science and Technology, Government of India. So what is the aim of this fellowship? The objective of the DBT Research Associateship program is to train and nurture young researchers, scientists, and generate a critical mass of trained manpower in modern areas of biology and biotechnology and build a robust postdoctoral base for the growth of biotechnology sectors in the country. So what are the eligibility criteria to apply for this research associate associateship? Well, the applicant should hold a PhD degree in science, engineering or MD or MS degree in any area of medicine with research interests in biotechnology and life sciences and a good academic record. So if you have a PhD degree in areas related to biotech and life sciences or even engineering, you are eligible to apply. Applicants who have already submitted the PhD thesis are also eligible to apply. The upper age limit is 40 years for male candidates and 45 years in the case of women candidates as on the last date of application. The applicant should also be either Indian citizens, NRIs or OCI card holders. Now the applicants already employed are also eligible to apply. However, they are required to upload a NOC from the employer during the online submission of the applications. So what is the tenure of the fellowship? The associateship is a purely temporary assignment and is tenable for a period of two years only. However, in exceptional cases, depending upon the progress of the research, the fellowship may be extended up to four years. So what are some of the general guidelines of the DBTRA program? So the DBTRA fellowship can be availed only once by a candidate in his or her career. This fellowship is tenable only in India in any recognized academic institutions, national laboratories and other recognized R&D institutions. Fellows are not allowed to work with their PhD or co-guides. The fellowships cannot be availed at the same institution where the candidates have earned their PhD degrees. Okay. A mentor cannot have more than two DBT RA fellows at a time. And the mentor should hold a regular academic research position in a recognized institution in India and should hold a PhD degree in science and engineering or medicine. Superannuated faculty could also mentor as long as they can demonstrate that resources and labs are available to them. And also applicants from the Northeast region can work in any university or institution in the country. So how do you apply for this DBTRA program? So the application for this DBTRA program shall be online mode only. To apply, the interested candidates can visit this portal, which is linked on this web page, and this web page is linked in the description box. So applicants must register on this portal, fill in the complete information in the online application form, and submit it before the closing date of application, that is 15th of July, 2022. So as we speak, we have about a month's time to apply for this research associateship program. Now the online application form to be filled out by the applicant comprises information pertaining to personal information, academic qualifications, research contribution, referee details, proposed research work, proposed mentor details and proposed host institution. So what are the documents to be submitted along with the online application form? Those include self-attested PDF copy of your date of birth certificate, self-attested PDF copies of your degree certificate, a consent letter from the mentor. Okay, the format of this letter will be available on their portal itself and an NLC from the employer if it's applicable. Names and contact details of the referees are to be provided by the applicant while filling out the application form. 
During submission of this application form, an email with a link to submit a letter of recommendation shall be sent by the applicant to the email addresses of all the referees who you mentioned in the form. You should also upload a PDF copy of the letter of recommendation on the portal by the 20th of July and you should ensure that the referee provides a recommendation letter on time. If your application form has not been submitted, then it will not be accepted. So like I said, the important dates are starting of the online application is 15th of June and end is 15th of July 2022. So you have about a month's time. So the contact information is given over here. You can also check out the flyer for yourself. So if you want to read the notification in detail and also to apply the portal, all of these links are given on this web page. And again, this web page is linked in the description box. So do check it out below. Ensure that you've downloaded the Biotechnica official app and also you've followed us on Telegram because folks over at Telegram have already seen this post. And if you have the app, you would have already read it as well. So leave a like on this video and let us know in the comments what more you would like to hear from us. I hope you've turned on your post notifications and you're following us on all of our socials because we have a lot of interesting stuff coming up. So all the very best. Apply for this and we'll see you in our next one. Take care. Bye-bye.